What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Zoe. No, it is off DFS here to bring you guys the prop video for the Taco Tuesday over here on Prize Picks. If you guys don't got a Prize Picks account, you want one? Make sure you guys check the link down in the description below so you guys can get that deposit match bonus and join your boy over here on Prize Picks. And as always, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. It means a lot just to support the channel. It lets me know that you guys are enjoying the content that I am putting out over here. Hopefully, you guys were able to catch my video yesterday going over the NFL. A Monday Night Football Showdown. Week one is officially fully in the books. If you guys followed that video right there, you definitely made some money over there. We actually fully swept yesterday on the plays. Um, Breeze Hall, first quarter receiving yards, smash easy, L literally. In the first drive, he uh, cashed that. He had caught two passes, went over the uh, 2.5 or the 3.5, depending on what you had got that one at. And then um Juwan Jennings I had him for the two receptions I love the love the two receptions originally had him for the 17 and a half receiving RC killed that uh he went out there and as you can see 64 and also five receptions and then George Kittle if you did not take the goblin then no you did not cash but I was talked about the goblin because I didn't like the fact that his main play had got bumped several times so I went ahead and went with the goblin and Kittle he hit that as well and then also Brees Hall uh last one that I had gave out that was kind of towards the end was Brees Hall for his uh four receptions I liked it for the push and of course he went out there and he actually had got five receptions with very active in the past game of course like as like i was expecting aaron Rodgers, that check down is going to be there a uh, breeze hall definitely will be something we can continue to attack uh throughout the season right there but um yeah so not bad on my night football hopefully you guys did get those plays right there a uh, easy day to go ahead and make some bread make some money uh not trying to force the power six or any of that well not power six the flex six flex fives or anything like that just trying to build the bankroll up because again it is going to be a long season and that's what we're here for so heading over to price Picks, looking at the uh, taco for today we got zach gallon the first one up is his three and a half pitch strikeouts now you guys know primarily i focus on the wmba things like that and whatever value i can actually find on the board i'm not really looking too much in uh too many of the plays over here on the mlb board i will say that um lopez i don't mind actually his five and a half uh, pitch strikeout that is actually not a bad one or i would take a goblin play i'm gonna go over here to the wmba board because we do have three games um some players some teams that are in some pretty good spots and again my idea and my best way i believe to build bankroll over here on price picks especially taking advantage of these tacos look at some goblin plays that have a very good hit rate and chance to hit especially if you're just trying to build bank that to me is really more the move whenever it comes down to it. i know a lot of people preach the flex five the flex six those things like that there's nothing wrong with a good power two especially if you are making at least a uh, one and a half to two x your money on those plays so first play we're going to go to and this one has been literally smashing she has been killing it over her last several games i'm going to go down here to Bree jones at 11 and a half uh, point total again i talked about it in my dfs breakdown video but Bree jones the size that she has going over there against azara stevens um even with uh lee lee being out there and playing she's been smashing this 11 and a half has been pretty much a no-brainer for her she's covered this in five out of her last five games and she has hit in all three games that they have played with 13 and then 20 uh, points in several of the, uh, of the other games that they played. So 11 and a half, loving that for the over. Would not mind pairing that up with the taco as one of my first uh, plays that we can actually get to today. Now, another play, you guys already know, I love going to the first half play. And this one's been a wagon. She's been a wagon, especially whenever she's going up against uh, uh, mediocre teams, teams that definitely trying to ball over, things like that. But Dejanay Carrington, they don't have her up high enough to me in my eyes. That 13 and a half, uh, she covered this easily in the first quarter. Uh, last time she played going up against the Sparks. I will go right back to that one right there. But this would be one I would put into a flex six if I am looking at that. That 13 and a half. Uh, definitely juicy, especially with the steel upside that Carrington has. And she can go out there and get some blocks if she is feeling a little bit froggy uh, in that aspect uh, for her. Um, another play that I really do like whenever I was just sitting here going through the board. Uh, of course, I know Ryan, she's been taking a lot of the uh, field goals. If they ever do add her field goal attempts up here, she has cleared this in straight up what? her last three games three four games she's been chucking taking 20 plus shots in all those games if they are even tempted to give us that i will definitely be looking towards that but right now they're not giving it to us uh one play that has cleared in both games that they have played so far this season is brianna stewart for the 16 field goal attempts i don't mind looking at her for that but i do actually like her five free throw um made player here she's cleared this in both games going up against dallas taking nine out of 11 in both games nine out of 11 free throws um we already know she is typically a focal point and we can bleed some points over there to our our well correction we bleed points to everybody over here on the dallas wings but that five uh, free throws made i really do like the upside for her there um with that as long as she's aggressive and she's actually going at it like what she normally can do i do uh like that one as well for another play now, another play that I do like over here, going to go over to the assist combo uh, tickets. Uh, this right here, Jordan Cannon and Courtney Williams at 11 assist combo. That actually looks pretty good for them. Uh, we already know Cannon, she's averaging right there at six assists a game 
over the last couple games she has uh, ticked up she had one game when she had 10 last game coming off of a overtime game i would have imagined more assists for her in that game going up against the indian fever but she only had five in that game but all the minutes and everything that she is playing i do like the upside for her to possibly go out there and still average right around her six courtney williams in her three games that she has played going up against the um atlanta dream she has has some pretty good assist numbers with uh, five assists in the first game six in the second and nine in the last one so long as both of them can go out there give us what they average which is roughly right around the five to six assist mark for both of them we just and just like that it got pulled off the board if they add that assist prop back definitely please take the over on that assist prop. i cannot believe that just got pulled in the middle of me uh going over that uh, with that being said, you can definitely come over here, take Canada for her four and a half assist. That line right there, I do like that one. Uh, you can definitely come over here and alt Courtney Williams down to her three and a half assist. I like that one as well. Uh, if they do not add that um that assist line back, that's that's kind of crazy. Going over it and it literally just got yanked right in front of my face. That is awesome. Um, another assist prop that I do actually like for today would be Alyssa Thomas for her six and a half assist. Uh, she's cleared this going up against bottom tier defenses, and she's cleared this easily over four out of her last uh, five games. This is a weak defensive team in the Sparks. We do know they like to push the pace. Um, they could be out there, turn the ball over. We know AT. She's looking like AT a little bit of old. Uh, I'm not going to say she's going to go out here and get triple double again, but I do like the upside for her here and at that six and a half assist mark right there again. And she has cleared this line in all three games that she has played going up against the uh, Sparks so far this season. So far, really, those are, are really a couple of the props that I do like for today. I definitely do think there is some money to be made on this slate. Uh, this is more lean plays, but I'm not going to give out any leans. I'm going to put up all of my props that I do like for today. I will post those up on the Patreon. If you're looking for that, check the link down in the description below. I will attempt, attempt to make a flex six that I will throw up on Twitter. No promises. But I will attempt to put together a flex six and throw it up on Twitter. So if you guys are not following, make sure you guys go ahead and do that. Also, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the content your boys dropping over here on the channel. Good luck to everybody. Um, don't go too crazy. Again, we got plenty of games and stuff. We got more sports finally back. NFL, of course, college football is definitely in the rotation. WNBA, we're ramping down to get ready for the playoffs. But still, some definitely a lot of ball to be played and some money to be made. Peace.